After a long spell of encouraging statistical news, Los Angeles County climbed above 2, 200 new coronavirus cases on Thursday, March 4, the highest single-day total in nearly two weeks. The number of people hospitalized with COVID-19, however, continued to fall. According to state figures, there were 1, 341 people hospitalized in the county as of Thursday, with 429 people in intensive care, the lowest numbers the county has reported since November 19. But the county reported 2, 253 new infections, the highest single-day number since February 20, when 2, 393 cases were announced. Health officials said they will be closely monitoring new case numbers, and other indicators, in hopes the bump doesn't become a trend. Those numbers, combined with increasing concern over swiftly growing variants, spurred public health officials to warn that travel over spring break could derail a pandemic recovery that could be only weeks away from seeing significant restrictions lifted. Public Health Chief Barbara Ferrer urged people to postpone traveling more than 120 miles from home, unless it's essential. We may just be weeks away from reducing transmission in LA County enough so that additional reopenings are permitted, she said in a statement accompanying the Public Health Department's daily update. However, with increased case numbers in other states, and more circulating variants of concern, spring travel can lead to another surge that frankly would be almost impossible to tolerate. Travel increases the risk of getting and spreading COVID-19. To avoid this, please postpone travel and continue doing your part to slow the spread so that our recovery journey isn't sidelined. The county is on track to exit the restrictive purple tier of the state's four-level economic reopening road map by late March. If it advances to the less restrictive red tier, more businesses could be cleared to open, including indoor dining, movie theaters and fitness centers, all at limited capacity. Figures released by the state Tuesday put the county's adjusted average daily rate of new COVID-19 infections at 7.2 per 100,000 residents. If that number falls to 7 per 100,000 residents and stays at that level for two weeks, the county will be able to move out of the restrictive purple tier of the state's blueprint for a safer economy and into the red tier. The daily update did not include the latest numbers from Long Beach and Pasadena, which operate their own health departments. On Thursday, Pasadena reported one new death and 13 new cases, for pandemic totals of 318 deaths and 10,062 cases. Long Beach reported 67 more coronavirus cases, for a total of 51, 479, one new fatality raised the city's death toll to 857. Following the lead of federal health authorities, and chastising other states that have lifted mask mandates, California officials on Thursday also urged residents in the Southland and across the state to consider donning two masks to prevent the spread of COVID-19.